Hi guys and welcome to a new video of mine uh, because a lot of people ask me to make a video when installing uh, more than one upgrade and that is the PID controller, the dimmer kit uh, and the pressure gauge with the adapter uh, all at once. Uh, this video I think will be one of the most complete and comprehensive uh, on YouTube up until now because I want to install all these three upgrades at the same time in this brand new uh, green Gaja Classic Evo actually because if you take a look at the front switch you will see that these are the new blocks that Gaja uses. So this is the EVO, 2023 EVO model, really cool color. Uh, basically what you need to know, um, we just need to make room inside the coffee machine so we could work here. That means I will loosen the pump, uh, um, I will move the wires a little bit to the left, I will remove the steam pipe plastic knob um, I will also move the front switch because I want to have access to the boiler um, I will loosen the boiler body also and the group head because they're welded together they're not welded actually um, Gaja uses four bolts to keep them together it's a brand new machine so we don't have to worry about the gasket that sits right here between the group head and the boiler. That's good. That's one of the nastiest o-rings to change on a gadget in my honest opinion. I've done it many times but it's uh, it's a good idea if, if you want to install the upgrades right now. If you have a used machine, change the o-ring that sits right here between the boiler and the group head change it be sure and certain it's new and only then start upgrading the pictures the with the original inside setup it's best to know exactly these wires where each wire sits exactly make pictures mark them if you need I'm gonna mark with the I have a marker for this and we can start working we will need also access here on the left side of the boiler we have the brew thermostat we will need to remove that and replace it with the temperature sensor wire the PT100 wire from the PID controller kit so uh, we will need access here to the solenoid valve it's on the back this is where we will install the pressure gauge adapter right between the solenoid and the uh, um, the group head. Uh, Evo has different switch. Evo has uh, the pump is in a fixed position due to two hex head bolts uh, before they were uh, cross.
this is the brew thermostat we have now good access to this one and we will need to replace it remember these two wires remember their color and position and everything because we will uh, connect the uh, DASSR to these two wires okay the original wires I will remove uh, by the way this is the boiler fuse I will remove it also so it's gonna be a lot easier to work with the boiler also 17 millimeter key I've unscrewed the entrances we have two in two out um, we have a wire extender so this goes on the motherboard like this this is the end part of the wire like this about the dimmer kit I have a separate video on how it works we just need to use the wires and put them on the motherboard like this we have two white wires or the input wires and we have two yellow wires okay twist the ends a little bit like this Okay. This these are the yellow wires. Twist the ends. Okay. One yellow wire output. And the second yellow wire. Like this. So make sure the wires are screwed tight on the motherboard. And this is how it should look. The first wire will go you remember we freed the pump because the wires are on the back so first white wire goes with the the right pump wire the second white wire goes with the left pump wire okay so we connected the white wires directly into the pump and now the yellow wires ends should go on the pump okay dimmer the first yellow wire goes to the left of the pump And the second yellow wire goes to the right onto the pump like this and this will go on the top box installed into this position right here and I'm gonna tape the wire onto the top box wall so dimmer kit is done we can uh, leave it outside the machine so pump is ready now uh, I want to work and install the adapter check that it has the two new o-rings on it and an o-ring right here because it needs to seal on the pressure gauge 
brass stem so it goes like this I'm gonna use a little bit of Teflon tape although the, the o-ring usually takes care of the seal so but it's just a precaution because after you install the adapter on the machine it's extremely unpleasant to have a small leak here or here and dismantle everything again um, so make sure you have a good seal and you have the o-rings here good seal here it's gonna be really really hard uh, to repair a bad installation uh, also remember guys you need to insert the adapter and gauge already through the hole of the top box before installing this adapter over there right here between the solenoid and the group head so I'm going to show you in the video exactly how it's done wraps are usually good make sure the hole is not blocked by the tape use the 14 millimeter key and it's all tight right now I'm gonna remove the back okay this is the top box insert like this Put everything inside. Okay. Outside again. And only now we can install this between the solenoid, the left one here, and the group head. Top box towards the back of the coffee machine so I could work easier. I've extended the capillary tube. Um, I'm gonna try and work through the bottom to remove the valve, the solenoid valve. Uh, we're gonna use the new stainless bolts, they are longer because it will need to accommodate the thickness of the adapter also. One screw is out. The trickiest part is to align the solenoid valve with the adapter and with the hollow that the group head has it. So that's the trickiest one. Other than that, nothing complicated. Okay. This is the solenoid valve, also two new o-rings. If these are used, change them because I send four o-rings. You have spare o-rings, you can change these if you want. These are new, so no problem. So, this has to be installed one on top of another and use these stainless bolts. Okay, one, two, so remember, two o-rings here, two o-rings here, and now the trick is to align them again with the group head. Make sure the bolts don't fall. Make sure no o-rings will fall, will fall um, during this operation. You will usually find them over here if they fell. Okay, uh, I used hand screw first. Um, I'm gonna tighten everything together with a stronger grip. Okay, 
all done. Make sure the wires don't stay in your way. There you go. Again, I'm putting everything inside again. I'm wrapping the capillary tube back. Okay. So this is it. So we've installed the adapter plus gauge. The gauge is already into the top box hole so the dimmer is installed okay what's left uh, if you remember we removed the brew thermostat uh, we're gonna install the temperature sensor wire right now here so we have installed the dimmer kit we have installed the pressure gauge uh, since we have the boiler still loose we have the pump loose uh, we will begin installation of the PID controller temperature wire, temperature sensor wire, which goes on the left of the boiler where the brew thermostat was originally installed. We removed it earlier in the video. Okay, so little thermal paste on the thread there we go always move the wire entirely when you screw so you don't damage the wire or this end so I'm gonna work from underneath the machine it's easier I'm gonna tilt the boiler 5.5 millimeter maybe it's tighter so gently now push the wire in the upper part of the chassis Put the boiler onto the position and now everything is fine so this will go these three little wires will go directly onto the controller the PID controller back back part the back connectors it is um, the, the brew SSR, the AA is a steam SSR, so each SSR will practically is for each thermostat. Actually, we will use the steam wires to connect to the AA SSR. We will use these brew wires that went into the brew thermostat to the DA SSR. So let's prepare these. Uh, general rule is uh, four cans always go um, to the SSR. Same general rule applies to the red wires also. So the four cans always will connect to a SSR. Um, I'm gonna unscrew each end. I'm gonna prepare the wires. I'm gonna install the SSRs on the back part of the chassis, like this. Uh, I'm gonna use some zip ties. And after that, I'm gonna connect all the wires exactly where they should go. General rule is um, connectors one and two will go to each old uh, thermostat wires. One, two will go from the AA will go to the steam wires one and two position of the DA SSR will go to the brew old wires. 
uh, and the other three and four three and four always will go towards the PID controller on the front because I want to install them close together you can see that two blue wires are towards the inside the other two blue wires are installed towards the outside because when you bring them together they will combine uh, perfectly into this position right here as I said this is how they will look one two always short blue wires uh, three four always will be uh, the red the longer wires always four cans will go into the SSR uh, and now I want to install them on the chassis uh, and after that the red wires will go towards the front of the machine towards the PID controller one two AA will go to the old steam thermostat wires DA one and two will go towards the old uh, brew thermostat wires chassis I want to work with the back power socket so we if you remember we removed this pushed it outside the chassis I want to power up the PID controller from the blue wire and we just remove it uh, in the PID kit we have one long red wire simple one no fuse on it with this connector I'm gonna install it here and the blue connector will go right here okay the long red wire will go through the hole towards the front where the PAD controller will sit so this will power the controller this is the neutral power line okay we can insert this back into the machine like this yeah um, remember uh, we could have fixed the pump again into the original position before inserting this one I can work uh, both methods but if you want when the power socket is off the chassis it's easier to screw the old uh, pump screw from uh, here this one doesn't matter but this one for example now we have the power socket there it's a little bit harder but still possible Okay, so power socket in place, pump in place, silicone hose, all good. Boiler is still loose, that's because I will work here in front with the switch. Sometimes it's easier to move the boiler a little bit, like this, so you could work on the switch easier. power line from the main switch the orange the orange uh, connector this is the one we need for the power line uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna remove this block and push the switch out it's gonna be a little bit easier to work on so push a little bit the plastic pins go towards the outside be careful with the chassis there we go. So I removed the front switch, the power switch actually. So remember the position. If 
if I remember correctly. I just need to insert something thin. And that's it. So this is a brand new machine. I removed this. So we have the other power wire with the fuse on it. I'm just gonna make this sit straight. The idea is that I wanna go with like this inside and in the same time when I put this back and push the switch I want both the switch and my connector all stay in one place it sometimes help to widen widen this a little bit just a little bit like this insert this and you actually can test if the switch you can see that this is what I want to do so I reinsert this back you can see that it's at the end push both at the same time that's it this is the PAD wire sorry through this hole of the switch and push the switch back and we have now three wires ready for the PAD two power wires and the PT100 three small wires since we extended the height of the machine using this top box we need this extender so when you pour the water into the original water funnel it will go through the extender and then to the water to the water tank so you need access to the tank right here this is for the DA SSR position 1 and 2 uh, I want to start putting the wires back some protection over this thermostat I don't want these contacts to make to touch anything else inside the to make contact with anything else inside the machine so I will put some uh, tape over it so I want to put the wires back the fuse would strongly suggest you already begin to put the wires in a certain position it helps for wire management I usually use the left side as I look at it so I use all the wires I try to put them into this position because most heat from the boiler goes towards here towards the back in the vents also the dimmer kit also I would install it right here so fuse is back wires are back um, I think we can now uh, put the boiler into the fixed position using the remove four bolts from under it uh, we can put the retainers left and right that keep the top box in place uh, it's a good moment also if you want to change the spring to a 9 bar spring this is the OPV you can do that on left on right don't forget about the protection 
nav also. Okay. Because if you put the boiler into a bad position, the knob will scratch at the chassis. So make sure the knob is centered and only then uh, I think it's good to fix the boiler and the group head, okay? So steam wand, I see even if it's a new machine, they didn't, didn't use grease and this o-ring is shredded already not gonna have a long life this is silicone also a little bit of grease it will slide inside there you go as tight as possible so it will have a good contact with the chassis so it will cool down better and uh, you see the hole of the SSR to have on the last bend the hole so you could use the zip tie push the zip tie inside then from the inside towards the outside again there you go like this. very good contact and these are for the old thermostats wires and the red wires all go towards the PID DA will go to the old brew thermostat wires like this so the little cable management doesn't doesn't hurt you already need to see exactly how you want to put the wires okay and uh, AASSR blue short wires you need to see there you go these were the steam uh, sorry the AA steam thermostat uh, SSR go towards the old steam thermostat wires like this make sure the metal parts don't remain outside there you go this is for earth on the chassis okay so we already have a lot of wires that we need to connect to the PID controller the SSRs are connected to the old wires. We keep them towards the left. Um, yeah, I think we can now install uh, over here. We can install the PID controller uh, plastic case. And remember, get the wires through the hole outside and then uh, install the controller.
we have the gray wire also it's a jumper included in the kit and I think it's a good idea we install the blocking pin this helps you a lot if you have for example a square hole on the side uh, we have here I don't know if you see this a round hole so I don't need the, the blocking pin just gonna remove it I designed a small case. It has uh, adhesive on the back 3M, so we can install it somewhere over here, or if you want, over here on the box. That just a little bit later. So, so we start working now right on the controller puller for example these ones you will see that we have the numbers above 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 when you turn it these connectors numbered 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 so basically when you're looking at above the lower connectors are correspondent to what you see here so for example we have one two this is the power three is earth so we will use one two to power up the controller and so on you will see exactly how i will connect the wires uh, these wires i'm gonna move the machine a little bit so these wires uh, for example, the easiest is the PT100 sensor. It goes to 6, 7, 8. So red, red, white. So we mounted the temperature sensor 678. Another example on one, we will have the neutral wire, which is this one. Just move the wire. If you move it, you will see exactly which one is it. So position one, we have to first unscrew the connector. We will have two wires. Okay, position one, we will have this. And also the gray jumper. Okay. Position two, uh, let's see. Position two, we have the power line, which is this one. I don't like how the wire is. Okay, 
safety. So the front power line goes into plus from AA. Four, position four, which is this. There you go. So SSR AA, position four goes into this, this one here, this one here, and screw. No, not good. One of the wires. Yeah, there you go. There you go. All the wires. Okay. So this is position two. Three is empty. Four. We will go with the jumper to position four. Okay, five. We have the AA SSR position three goes to five. Okay, so this side is done. Make sure the wires will sit like this when you want to slide the PID inside. And we have these two wires left, which should be the DA SSR wires, uh, position three and four on the, the DA SSR. And we have six, seven, eight already used. Four and three. So we have four, nine, and ten. We unscrew. Nine is four. Let's see which one is cable four. This is four goes to nine hold the wire like this and the other goes to 10 so the DA position 3 goes to 10 PID controller 10 okay this is it guys this is the connector wires just make sure they sit like this into the correct position gently move the wires inside the case a few wires are longer okay usually the power lines yeah not sliding it yet I want to test the machine first okay this is how wires look like this and you can use zip ties as I said along with the dimmer kit and you can use don't forget about the earth to the upper case like this okay so this part right here needs to remain empty because this is where the water funnel goes I will use some tape for the dimmer wire to be on the case on the plastic case like this and again I will avoid putting cables here I'm pushing all the cables towards the left, back. Uh, yeah, remember these screws need to be 
installed at the bottom of the case because the original screws will go into this. And what I mean is take these and install them lower. So that the case will not move. One. Yeah, so the case doesn't move. A little, a little bit of wire management towards the left, and we are good to go for the first test. I've put all the cables towards the left, some tape for the dimmer. I forgot about the dimmer knob. Close the dimmer. I usually put the knob like this. I don't push all the way. There you go. Okay. So I just wanted to be sure nothing is touching something that it shouldn't. Wires are not touching, touching between them. No wires on the boiler. Um, just make a visual inspection. Don't forget about these uh, earth wires for the upper tray. I checked again the boiler cables. Uh, don't forget to disconnect the um, terminal 3 or 4 from the DA in order to set up the controller. It doesn't come uh, set up already from factory. So you need to set up the controller and only then give the boiler power to boil the water. So. Don't forget, disconnect the 304, make the setup, reconnect terminal 3 or 4 from the DA SSR, and only then you can uh, practically use the machine. This is a new machine, I will uh, fill the boiler with water. Maybe you know by pressing the pump button, but leaving the steam open water will go through the steam pipe and only then you know it's boiler is filled with water so first usage fill the boiler with water cut the pump um, and that's about it I will put into the description again how the wires were connected with the PID also in the description um, or maybe I'll make a new video with just how to set up the PID controller. Thanks guys. This is it. Thank you for watching. Really long video. Thank you.